Here we are with another Model Sessions Over 50 Everyday Elevated Makeup. We're going to first start with the cleansing wipes. These are by Pacifica. They're glow wipes to help take off any dead skin. Using the NARS Lip Balm, this will help to hydrate the lips, which will help in preparation for the lipstick and liner that's going to be placed on towards the end of the video. Grabbing now the Chantecaille Flower Harmonizing Cream. We're going to use a Q-tip and about the size of a dime we're going to go ahead and warm that up in the hands and place this all over the face moisturizers are so important when it comes to our skin's health as well as prepping for our makeup grabbing now the ptr face and eye patches this is firm x these are fantastic for plumping areas around the face i'd love to use these underneath the eyes where the marionette lines are also the levens around the forehead the chin anywhere you're seeing fine lines or deeper set lines and wrinkles i like to leave these on for at least a good 10 minutes and then peel them off fresh skin ready to go using now the nars light reflecting foundation and my favorite oil by mela diore I like to put about a good drop of oil in my hand, a pump of foundation, and then I will mix them together. This creates the most beautiful finish across the skin. It creates a hydrated, light texture. Great for those of you with freckles, mature, dehydrated skin, or fine lines or deeper set lines and wrinkles. I'm using a light, fluffy brush that can't pick up too much product to basically gloss the skin. It creates a very soft, natural finish using the It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Using just a very little bit, this is a very concentrated concealer and it has a glossy finish. I put a tiny bit on my finger and I tap it in the areas I need, specifically around the eye area and the middle of the face. As you can see, I'm using my finger to flick it against right underneath the lash line to cancel out any redness. Grabbing a bit more here, I'm gonna go ahead and go on the other side of the eye on the outer edge where I see any redness. But as you can see, the main point here is that I'm pressing it into the skin and using a very little bit. The It Bye Bye Concealer has been one I've been using for years because it leaves a really beautiful dewy finish. I highly recommend only using your fingers when it comes to this product. All right, we are complexion ready. Let's grab some blush using the Hindash Rose Color and a Surat Blush in Cantaloupe, which has a nice orange shimmer to it. We're gonna mix these two together. As you can see, one has no shimmer and one has a little shimmer. So mixed together, it creates a perfect balance on the cheeks. I like to mix colors such as a warm and a cool together because I find that it creates a really beautiful juxtaposition across the skin. Adding this with my fingers and that same foundation brush, working that on the outer cheek and a little bit onto the forehead to create a nice C or what they call also a V shape. This actually helps to sculpt the face as well as brighten the center of the face because with the proximity of color, you're having the brightness around the eyes and then the warmth or the blush around the edges of the face. As you can see, I went down the center, adding a little to the ears, and then I like to take a little bit and pop it on the eyes. It really helps to create a uniformed makeup look or basically a color story that's all in harmony and it creates also a brightness as well as you can see. Using the ColourPop Brow Pencil in a soft taupey brown, I'm just scribbling that into the brow. And scribbling is basically where you're not trying to do any hard lines, you're staining the skin underneath by just using quick flicking motions with the wrist and then blending it in with a clean spoolie. Adding now the Isamea French Brow laminator slash gel this helps to really keep the brows in place as well as gloss them this is a step i would not skip it really does help to open the eyes because you're lifting the brow hair which draws the eye upward and it opens that eye shape really does make a huge difference grabbing now the victoria beckham Conjule eyeliner and cacao i warm it up on the back of my hand creates kind of a gel texture and then I am going ahead and getting a small angled brush to use against that lash line. We want to have it as a tight line effect which just basically means as close to the lash line as possible to create a shape to the eye without being too harsh. Grabbing the graphite pencil by Chanel, this is a cold pencil, I'm adding this to the lower lash line. Now what I'm doing here is putting a warm color on the top of the lash line and a cool on the bottom. Since she has blue eyes, this will help to play with the color in her eye. Grabbing now the NARS palette, we're going to go ahead and set that eyeliner. This will help to also soften the harshness of the line. It's just a taupe color and 
putting that on the bottom and on the top to soften around the edge of the eye while still really bringing out her eye shape and the eye color. Grabbing the Victoria Beckham Brightening Pencil, we're going to go ahead and place that in the waterline. This will help to brighten the whites of the eyes as well as make the eyes look bigger. And then curling our lashes with the Chanel Eyelash Curler. Grabbing the Waterproof It Cosmetics Mascara. This is a great waterproof mascara because it's extra black but it also creates a lot of length. As you can see, we're starting to really bring those eyes out. We're going back in now with the taupe color and we're gonna place that all over the lid. We're really blending that out and then we're gonna grab the shimmer and we're going to place that right in the center. By adding that taupe matte color, it helps to ground the shimmer that we put on top. Just a little bit of shimmer though really does help to brighten the eyes. Grabbing that same shimmer color, we're going to put that on the inner corner just a very little bit. And then grabbing the Chanel Balm Essential Stick and Sculpting. Absolutely live for this. This is a wonderful way to highlight naturally without having a dry, frosty texture, especially if you have mature skin or dehydration. We're going to place that on the high points of the face, the cheekbone area, down the nose. I like to also put a little on the chin and on the brow bone. Instead of frosty white, we're using an emollient base, which really does help to create a soft look. I always put a little on the ears as well. As you can see, we are giving the skin a nice dewy sheen without looking dry. Adding the Makeup Forever pencil. This is a beautiful rose color. We're going to go ahead and feather this all over the lips. Just working around the edge in light sketches, nothing hard. We don't want any hard lines. We're just kind of shaping the mouth here. And don't be afraid to go right on that lip edge. Create a fullness. Then I love to use a Q-tip and soften or create a blurred lipstick effect. Your lip liner should almost look like a lipstick. You should be able to walk out of the house because it's so finely blended. Adding now the Chantecai Rosy Mauve Lip Balm Lipstick Color. These are my absolute favorite lipsticks. I'm going to go ahead and place this all over the lips. It creates a lipstick slash gloss balm effect, which is why I love it. It creates a fullness to the mouth. And as you can see, we have our first look, a nice, healthy, radiant, fresh look. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp some of this product off to create even a more natural look. And then go in with the Dior Gloss to create a even fuller lip look by placing that gloss in the center of the lips. And then feathering a little bit of that color onto the outer corner edges of the lips. We're going to go ahead and purse our lips together, blend, and here we have a beautiful, fresh, everyday look. Look two now is a more of a night look. Using the same Chantecai lipstick, we're gonna quickly place this all over the lips. Now feel free to use just this lipstick as your everyday lip look. As you can see, it's nice and natural. But we're gonna go in with the Lip Cheat Red Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury. This is kind of a rosy red color. And we're gonna go ahead and place this all over the top of that lipstick to create a more evening look. Or if you'd like more color for the day, this is still subtle enough to wear as your day lipstick look. As long as you're staying within a raspberry, rose, soft kind of mauve rose color, it's great for every day. Now I'm adding the lipstick and the lip liner that we just put on to my finger and I'm placing that on the cheeks. This will help to create a unified color story once again. It's bringing the lip and cheek together. Grabbing the Dior Lip Maximizer in a lavender color. We're going to place it on the center of the lips and blend. This is a great addition if you really want your lips to shine or if you're going out in the evening. This is what I call a sexy lip. Adding now the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray to complete the look. And here we have it, a beautiful, fresh, everyday look that can be worn from day to night, very easy to do. And most importantly, I think she loves it and I hope you all loved it too. If you guys enjoyed the content, it's really easy to support. Don't forget to like, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and use the affiliate links down below. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can head to shrevoyage.com. And if you haven't had enough, you can head to TikTok or Instagram where I do mini tutorials and show you the newest, latest, and greatest. All right, everyone, as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care of you, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.